again to Rusty Krusty Classics. Um, today we're doing something a little bit more uh, interesting with um, welding. I found recently something that um, amazed me and I didn't think it was possible but um, I found a cordless welder. Now cordless welder you might think how'd you do that? How'd you not plug it into the mains? Well it's battery powered and this is quite cool. Works quite well. I've been testing it a little bit and I'm quite impressed. So let's have a look at it. This is the box you get straight from China. This was Amazon. I think it was uh, 300 pounds, now reduced. And this is the main unit. It says it's a ZW-160 by Hua Yu Jing Gong, whatever that means. Having said that, made in China, typical Chinese plastic, but it's got some pretty cool features. You can set your voltage, set your amperage, and it tells you the battery level. Now when you're working off these two lithium batteries, you can only set your amperage to 120 amps. But if you plug in the back and use 36 to 84 volts DC, so a number of lead acid batteries all connected together, however many you want, then with the cable supplied, you can run it up to 160 amps. So let's give it a test and then we'll talk through the features. Your leads come ready to plug in. The lumpy bit at the top. And turn it to the right. That's ready. Both lead the same. Good quality. Everything seems good quality. None of it's cheap stuff. And there it is. Ready to use. So let's get a welding rod. These are two and a half mil standard rods. What we'll do is we'll try um, we'll try and weld something. Something, uh, keep that off the uh, bench because it's metal. Something, let's see what we've got here. A piece of bar and a piece of plate. First of all, we'll just run a seam along the plate. See how that is. I think it's three mil plate. Then we'll try welding the bar to the plate flat on like that. Let's give it a clean up. Don't forget your safety squints. So first of all, we can run a bead along there and we'll set the amperage to, let's see what we've got at the moment. Let's set it to 70 amps. That's about right for a two and a half mil rod. Make sure the earth is well connected. Let's put that out of the way. So we'll just clamp that to the table. So, let's see how this does. And 70 amps. 
voltage is at 65 volts. <coughs> and the other features <coughs> we'll talk through in a minute. See what it did. That's pretty good. For just a quick guesstimate on the settings. Not bad. And that's a cordless welder. Split 93%. I've done about half a stick. Let's try something more complicated. Let's try. Turn it around. So I'm welding that far. To that. Let's get a clamp. Could use the earth, but it's um, a fat oil. Clean the end of this. Centre. Okay. I think we're still on. We've got 75 amps actually. 80 amps. So we're doing quite a thick cam, um, quite a thick bar here. Let's give it a try. Is the fan kicking in? Oh, that's hot. Spin it around. Let's try the other side. Eighty eight percent battery still. Well, 
No, it's glowing. What do you think? Is it welded on well? Well, it is in places. I think it's more welding. Could do with a go over. Just grind it. Have a look. Oh, brilliant, but that's me. Let's get some good welds there. That section. In there and there. Let's give it another try. No much stick left. And there's 85% battery. She blows. Yeah, it's well done there. If I could well better. If I had more practice, then uh, I think that'd be very good. And after that one stick, we're on 82%. So, it welds. It welds well, if you know what you're doing. And it's got some good features as well. <clears throat> if you press the mode button, it comes up with hot start. And that's the amperage to give you what they call a hot start arc so you don't have to strike it literally as you come towards the metal with the tip of the rod it starts the arc for you and you set the amperage for how much you want it to initially kick in and give it plenty of power so i've got 40 i think it goes way down and you've got arc force similar thing but it's while you're welding it's um, apparently it's, it helps you do things like welding upside down or intricate welding like that. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but having used it, it welds like a MIG, which for a stick is quite interesting. And you can set your voltage. Now this is interesting. You can go all the way down. Fourteen volts. Would you be able to use this as a jump start pack? Probably. Sit your amps up, your volts down, jump start your car as well. So, what this can do also, you can attach a spool feed unit to it via the four pin connector there. And you've probably seen these. You've got uh, a MIG type spool feed with the uh, gasless welding wire and that way you can do migging as well with it cordless migging without gas and it's lightweight that's not heavy at all i think it's something like eight kilos comes with a double bank charger for both the batteries
carrying strap so you can hook it on and carry it over your shoulder and the cables so you can connect it to batteries of your choice and then you can run 160 amps so all in all I'm pretty happy with this if you do off-roading or you're uh, you live in an area where you're unlikely to uh, to have any assistance when you break down or break your vehicle or something catastrophic happens then it's possible that this could get you out of trouble really easily and it doesn't take up a lot of space so carrying this in the car firstly to help you do some welding if you break something secondly how about using it as a jump start or a power pack you know it can power a lot of things and the batteries themselves are quite big 20 volt lithium iron 8 amp power quite chunky so these can power other things as well I expect but altogether good piece of kit back up to 89% so one stick doesn't do much at all doesn't take much battery I've tried this and I think I got seven sticks in and it's still on 20, 23% so really it's got a lot of power a lot of capability and it can get you out of trouble if you need one Amazon's a place and I think they're £260 now